All right, thank you for staying with us this uh, sports uh, tonight. And uh, uh, if you just joined us, uh, you've missed out on quite a lot. Uh, we've talked about the African Women Cup of Nations taking place in Cameroon. Tomorrow is the final. We've talked about the FIFA 20 Women's World Cup. And uh, we've also uh, spent time to uh, talk about uh, the Gold Cup President Tournament taking place in Djibouti uh, as um, a preparation for our teams uh, getting ready for the league. Uh, 2016 2017 season that we are hoping will start in a few days uh, from now. Uh, but let me just quickly inform you, uh, lovers of German football, uh, that uh, the Friday night game between Mainz and Bayern Munich is uh, going on. And uh, um, at half time now, uh, it's uh, Mainz down 1 2 uh, to Bayern Munich. Uh, Roberto Lewandowski uh, and, of course, uh, Arjen Robben with the goals uh, for Bayern Munich. Mainz. Uh, of course, they scored first, but now they are trailing 1-2 uh, to the champions, uh, Bayern Munich. Um, Imari Bayo, very quickly, um, let, let's uh, spend some time away from football and um, talk about um, uh, Formula 1. Formula One. Uh, surprise? Were you surprised? I yeah. was. Um, Nico Rosberg um, achieved uh, a first and then uh, decided that, uh, is that enough? I can't understand. I, I still don't understand. It came as a root shock. All of us didn't see it coming. Um, I don't know. I still don't know why he did what he did. A lot of us thinking... If Probably quitting when the vision is loudest. Yeah, I think that's what he's done. But even at that, I mean, still enjoy your time. But he's a young man. Enjoy. There's still a lot of time ahead of him. Enjoy your time under the sun. Um, milk the championship that you have won for all his worth. A lot of endorsement, a lot of money, a lot of things... Um, I think that's what he's wanted, and, and now that he has it, I don't know. I think he, he took the decision at the height uh, of emotion. As you can see on the screen, Yemi, he says he's quitting because he's at the peak. Yes. And he believes there's no higher place to go. Well, I don't agree. I've seen... Um, I mean, if you keep yourself motivated, that's why I'm shocked. I mean... Because you could repeat this over and over again. How many and titles has, has he won? The he, first one. His, his teammates has won three. Uh, Marco Schumacher, seven. And those guys find a way to keep themselves. Uh, Sebastian Vettel, I mean, before the rules changed and everything, mm. Vettel was dominating uh, all over. And, you know, I, I, I think that um, he just wants to head it on a high. That's and, it. Uh, but but the, the, the talk about um, this is the ultimate and there's nothing more, I don't think that's true. If he's able to keep himself motivated, I have a feeling he might come back. We've seen many top athletes do, do this. And as a lot of people, for instance, Floyd Mayweather, a lot of people are saying they will come back. Because when you still have a lot to give, I remember Michael Jordan uh, did it. At some point, left basketball, went to uh, baseball. He came back. Uh, a lot of Muhammad that leave any times, go, go in and come back. You know, when you're still at your prime and you have a lot to offer, even when you take a time out, something will bring you back. Mm. All right, so let's see. Is this for real? Um, talk to us about it. Is this for real? Um, is Nico gone for real after winning? Uh, his first ever um, uh, championship. Um, he throws in the towel. And and the celebration. Says, they're still celebrating. I mean, I mean, it's like an anticlimax. We, we're still looking forward to seeing him maybe repeat this one or twice, and then. But then he says, "No, it's all it's all over for me. I'm at the peak. I'm at the top of the mountain. Um, I I'm I'm not doing it anymore. All right. What do you feel about this? Let's let's read your thoughts, your comments um, on this as well." Um, on uh, sports tonight. But let's before, yeah, before I allow you to go, uh, because uh, Tunde Gushiku is already standing by, um, the IOC are rejecting Tokyo's uh, budget <laughs> for the 2020 Olympic Games. Um, what exactly is uh, the story? What's, what is that exactly is um, the uh, undercurrent? IOC is saying, look, $20 billion <laughs> is way too small. It's way too that <laughs> can't organize the National Sports <laughs> Festival. And, and, you know, uh, the new Tokyo governor uh, is doing a budget uh, review and he said the cost could surge to 26.36 billion dollars and that is over four times the amount they plan to use when Tokyo initially won the bid and, that, and that's the problem although the organizers said they would drop a final budget uh, you remember what happened with Rome um, the, the, the mayor came in and said no we're pulling out uh, of a race while the uh, LOC were busy bidding. So they, I don't know what's going to happen this one, but I feel a drama uh, is uh, playing out. But the IOC are just saying, look, we're not going to take this. This budget is little. That, and, uh, what, what's wrong with these guys? That can host our National Sports Festival, <laughs> effectively. Uh, but, but they are saying, look, this thing is already four times what we budgeted to spend. And they're saying there's still going to be a surge 
in costs. Mm. So you're looking, it, it might hit the $40 billion um, dollars mark. And, and these guys are already preempting uh, what could happen. But I also, uh, you know, probably sharing your sentiment, they don't want the substandard games. Mm. And so if you have won the hosting rights, you had better be ready spend uh, the money to, to, to spend the money mm. and japan they face a lot of problem work has just begun on some of these uh, facilities that they're going to use the stadium a year after work they was expected to start to, they face a lot of problem with the logo the, pro the mascot the problem is everywhere you hear me this ca cash crunch is hitting everybody everybody yeah all right so it's it's, it's global all right but i'm just joking the budget for the that, that the japanese are putting together can host all editions <laughs> of our national sports festival past and present <laughs> just joking about it before somebody takes it too seriously all right but let, let's um um before i allow you to go here let me read a few comments a lot more comments on on twitter uh, akim olovo gaba says el Clasico will go to madrid uh they will win 2-1 he says the apl game will go to chelsea they will win 2-1 and he says the african women cup of nations will go to nigeria will win 2-1 or on penalties, all right? It says uh, it could be 2-1 for Nigeria, but it's predicted that Nigeria will win. 2-1 or win via penalties, whichever way. Let's just win. As Salami Sadiq says, I'm very optimistic. Our girls will win the final against Cameroon. They should take their chances. They shouldn't be complacent. Uh, that's coming from Salami Sadiq. Uh, Israel Akin Lama says, our girl, especially Ikidi. I'm sure he, he wants to refer to Ikidi. He says, Nikki, it should be Ikidi. Yeah, she should put an eye on their outside left winger, the jersey number seven. Uh, mark her out, and then we'll cage them. All right, this man uh, says uh, there's a danger man, a danger woman, or what do we call, do we call her, uh, in the Cameroonian team. Take care of her, and then you do the business. Uh, at the S SF Ari for Life, says Falcons will have to battle against everything in Saturday's final. I hope the technical crew uh, and uh, the psychologists, if they have any, um, I've done a lot of good jobs psyching them up. All right. Okay. Uh, so, like I want to say, is actually referring to Unjoku, our right back, uh, should do a good job on the Cameroonian left winger. Uh, that's uh, Unjoku, our uh, right back. All right. Ayola uh, Tokwa says, Barca will beat Real Madrid in the Classico. Man City will beat Chelsea. Um, Falconers will beat the Lionesses. And uh, it goes on and on and on. Um, Chinedu Victor is watching us from Charlotte in the United States of America. Uh, he wants to find out what time the guests will be playing. In Nigeria, it's 3.30 p.m. I don't know how, how to work it out uh, in the U.S. It could be early in the morning in the United States. About 3.30 p.m. in Nigeria should be um, maybe 9, 8, 8, 9, thereabouts. I'm not very sure, but it should be in the morning um, tomorrow. All right. Let's pause uh, for a short time out. And uh, today, Gushiku will be coming in. Uh, for the rest of uh, sports uh, tonight. Join us again.